Okay, good morning. Um, time for another update. It's been a long time, I know, since I've given one of these. Uh, I've been getting a couple of uh, DMs on, hey, what's going on? And I appreciate them. I really do. Um, I really do appreciate all the prayers and all the thoughts. But before I get into that, I just want to remind everyone that I'm not a doctor. So anything that I say here today is not to be construed as medical advice. It's just me letting you know what I'm going through and my interpretation of that. Secondly, we're gonna be talking about prostate cancer. So if that makes you feel uncomfortable, just know what you're getting into. All right, so the biggest thing since the last update that I provided is I'm finally done with radiation. And that was a chore. Um, I've told some of you that I've spoken to separately that in a lot of ways, I actually think that radiation therapy was worse than the chemo that I went through. With chemo, with taxotere or docetaxel, when you're getting an injection every, or an injection, a treatment every three weeks, that first week, you're really not feeling great, flu-like symptoms, you're really lethargic, um, can't sleep from the steroids. Second week, you start feeling a little bit better, and by the third week, you're almost back to normal again. Obviously, the port, I hated having the port in my chest to help facilitate the delivery of the drugs, but it is what it is. With radiation, it was just a whole, it was a different ball game. Every day having to get your bladder to being full, and of course that's, it's not a subjective term, but as far as, you know, they tell you, get your bladder to the point where you feel like you've got to go. Well, I mean, I've got prostate cancer, so there's a lot of times I feel like I've got to go when I really don't, and the bladder isn't full. So, you know, that's part of it. Um, but again, very uncomfortable. And with the radiation, I don't know if it was just the muscles, either the muscles in the morning being tired out from having to hold in a full bladder for so long, or if it was just something as a side effect of the radiation. But it was really hard to pee for the entire 42, 43 treatments. Uh, that I that I had um, and you know so that was 42 43 Monday through Friday that's not counting the weekends it didn't go away on the weekends uh, or on the holiday week that I had where it was not a whole week but it was like five days I didn't have a treatment it didn't go away it was still difficult you know, you'd sit there and you think I mean I kept thinking about that scene in the green mile where Tom Hanks is in front of the urinal and he's just really trying to go and he can't and that's exactly how I felt uh, it was painful. It was uncomfortable. I was getting up, you know, before radiation therapy, I may have been getting up at most three times, but usually it was one to two times a night uh, to go to the bathroom. With radiation, I was getting up six, seven times. I wasn't getting a good night's sleep, hardly any night. Uh, and yeah, I mean, so it was difficult. And just to kind of give you an idea that, of the radiation, so. I got what's called two boosts. So they started out, if you think about it as a bullseye, where the prostate is the bullseye, we started out in this big circle where they were radiating the pelvic girdle, trying to get the lymph nodes. Really, I think it was really more of a broad sweep, just trying to get maybe the, the circulating tumor cells. And this is just my hypothesizing. And then I did that for so many treatments at a lower dose of radiation. And then they narrowed the circle down to really hit the hot spots of the lymph nodes and the, and the prostate. So the prostate was gotten in all three of these stages. And then during that, you know, more narrow stage where they're targeting the lymph nodes, that's a higher dose of radiation. And then the last couple of doses of radiation, week, two weeks, whatever it was, I don't know, it was just concentrating on the prostate itself. So again, um, in addition to you know, the issues with going to the bathroom. I don't know, man. It was just, I was a lot more lethargic. Um, probably part of that was not getting a lot of sleep. Um, I was in a lot more pain. Uh, like, and, and again, I'm still healing. It's only been two weeks out, but that lymph node that hurt on the lower right side, it was a lymph node in my abdomen um, that kind of caused me to go to the hospital in the first place when I was first diagnosed it's been hurting <laughs> and I'm hoping it's hurting because it's been you know damaged and it's trying to repair itself 
but I mean, I'm uncomfortable and it hurts. That said, I'm getting better. Uh, I'm sleeping through the night a lot better, but it took, I mean, it took a good week and a half for me not getting up six or seven nights or six or seven times a night to subside and start to reduce. And with radiation therapy, just like we won't really know what good, if any, it did for months, maybe years to come, um, it's still gonna take time for the symptoms to subside. And it also, I may not get some of the worst side effects for months to years to come. Someone I spoke to recently, you know, call it the gift that keeps on giving. Um, that's radiation therapy for you, but I'm done. I am getting better. I'm still staying active. And, I, and like I said before, I'm really concentrating now on giving my body a break. I've thrown the kitchen sink at this. Let's see how far we can get this down. And then, you know, taking a round turn to concentrate on diet and exercise and really just try to hone in on those two things. I really got up my hydration as well, um, you know, to give my body the best shot that I can. Um, the other thing that's going on is not this week, but next week. So in about 10 days, I'm going to fly to Houston finally, and I'm going to see the, uh, the geno genitourinary oncologist there just to kind of, so I can have a quarterback of my whole treatment plan and see what we're going to do next. Um, but that's, I mean, that's really the highlights of what's going on. I haven't run any races lately. Um, just really been playing, you know, cab driver to the kids, getting them, getting them to the soccer games, trying to not get too excited about the Saints. Uh, I know they lost today, which <laughs> helps with put a damper on that excitement. Um, but other than that, you know, school year's in full swing. Halloween's the next big holiday. Again, going to Houston in 10 days, giving my body the chance to rest and taking that round turn on the diet and the exercise. That's it. Um, not really much else has been happening, at least not that I can think of. I thank everybody for your thoughts and your prayers. Please keep those coming. Uh, I need them. And uh, just like I tell myself every day, and I hope you do the same thing, remember, anything is possible.